Jim Beam Orange. One. Orange. This is a liqueur bottle. Yeah. A little, bit, a little bit lighter than, than some of our other offerings. This is only 65 proof, 32.5%. A little light in the pan. That is that is very light. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's made out of proper Jim Beam. Same recipe they've had for 225 years. And, and as I was saying earlier, me and Jim, we don't see eye to eye. Now, I have tried the Jim Beam Cherry, which was... Which we also saw. Which was not bad. Not bad. Not good. They claim this is a perfect mix of orange and bourbon with hints of vanilla and oak. They suggest mixing it with soda or enjoying meat, which is what we'll try first. We're going to enjoy meat. Um, because we're crazy. Like I'm not sure. Is, is, Jim, is that a or is that a Tennessee whiskey or is that just a? No, it's a. It's just a bourbon. Yeah. I believe so. I honestly don't uh, know. The sound of, of quality. Plastic. Mm. And how much was this fine offering? Uh, uh, I think this was thirteen dollars. Yeah. At a local liquor store. I'm a little scared because orange can, has a tendency to be. Really artificial. Well, it looks orange, pouring it glass. Oh yeah, that's very clear, isn't it? So yeah. I expect this to be really sticky sweet if it's that low proof. That's that's really. I mean, it's got legs on it. That's syrup. It's got legs on it. Woo! Oh, I'm not. Oh, we have to do this. I think my bottle food has finally run out. No, oh, I don't no. know. No, that smells like cough syrup. Smells like that tang. smells like, yeah. It smells like tang. It smells like tang. It smells like powdered it tang. It smells like tang. That brings back bad memories to me. I love tang. I love <laughs> tang as a kid. And all you guys out there who are younger than 30 are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Tang. Orange tang, man. Astronauts drank it, Dad. Astronauts drank it. If it's good enough for astronauts, it's good enough for you. Yeah, you millennials. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm ready for I'm ready for this. If it smells like tang, it's got to taste like. If it mom. tastes like alcoholic like tang, I'll probably be I'll probably my inner child will probably be like, yay! I'm liquored up and I'm a child. Well, brother, you're about to be happy. It tastes like alcoholic tang. <laughs> it tastes like alcoholic tang. Wow. <laughs> That's. That's awesome. <laughs> I this okay. is a guilty pleasure. It's like this is it's like I should not like this. For my palate, I think I would rather chew off my foot than drink a whole bottle of this. But I could very easily do that. Yeah. Chew off your foot or drink the whole bottle? Drink the whole bottle. Drink the whole bottle. <laughs> no, okay. Now now I do get a little bit of a of a nutty flavor. On the on the aftertaste, I think I guess the, the bean finally coming yeah, out. Yeah, the bean just come out on the end. And I do agree with you. It tastes like tang. I don't have the same nostalgia about tang that you do. So I, do. I love tang. And nostalgia can really influence but your palate. You, but you know what I want to do with it now? I want to pour that in that old fashioned jar. Mm. Okay. Another thought. If you had some of this and a little bit of half and half or coffee creamer. And then a little nutmeg on top. It would taste like a dream sickle. Tell me I'm wrong. It would I taste like a wrong. goddamn dream sickle. I swear to God. Yeah, they're not gonna tell us what's in this. <laughs> they're they're just not gonna tell us. Orange liqueur and it's actually orange liqueur. With added whiskey, not whiskey yeah, with that orange liqueur. So that kind of makes a big shake difference. Or stir that bad boy up. Holy God! Mm. Richard dares to venture where no one has gone. Hey, bottom shelf well, chemistry right here, man. Before. Yeah, <laughs> taking a bullet for the team, man. That's what we do. I've fucked around with cheap alcohol enough that uh, I can pull some alchemy every once in a while. Mm. Now that. In addition, maybe a little bit of egg white and shake it for about 30 to 45 seconds so it'd be nice and, and thick and foamy.
board it. Or maybe I'm a little heavy with nothing. Just have a little more of that to balance it out. Please just say it again. <laughs> you can't let the, the cream and the spice over. Okay. Yeah, I think it was a little being overpowered a little bit by because nutmeg is so strong. You a little bit goes a long it's, way. It's like baking. You've got to get the, the proportions correct. Yeah. It's chemistry. It's art. Science. Sciency art. It's kind of art. Still not quite science. there. Still not. Yeah, I'm missing still something. Too. Maybe it's spice actually. It's the wood flavor. It's the barrel flavor. It's close. It's really, it's really close. The ice may do it, but like I said, if, if a little egg white, like like you shake it with a um, a whiskey sour or, or some not whiskey sour, um, some of the other drinks that I've had, it's so close. Like we're going in the right direction. That is for sure. And it, that being said, possibilities? Oh, hell yeah. The ice did it? I think the ice did it. I think the ice did it. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. And I think there's even my more delicious. <laughs> my hesitancy over the first sip, because again, not a tang fan, but. Mm. Oh, you're right. God damn. Yeah. There's damn. more to be done there. Like we've just we just hit the tip of the iceberg thing. Another quick thought. Since it's the holidays, splash that in some eggnog. Well yeah, that makes a good eggnog. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, with when we put the nutmeg in, that's kinda of almost what we got going here. It's almost that very eggnog. But it's quintessential, quintessential bottom shelf. You don't want more than two to three ingredients in a cocktail. If you can have something quick, dirty, and cheap, go to the convenience store, buy a little bottle of eggnog, put a splash of that in. Boom. You go. Kapow. Yeah, that's that's delicious, by the way. I'm gonna have to say I, I don't think this is for <clears throat> for everybody. No. I think there's a lot of people that will Ooh. think this is too and the colder it gets, the better it gets. I'm saying, yeah. man. Oh. If you shook that with some ice and then poured right. it over shaved ice, yeah, it'd, it'd be better. Glass. Yeah, it'd be even better. And then that's and then good. and then had it actually. Nut Fresh nut, nut, nut and yeah. that's crazy. just that's ghetto fabulous right there. God damn. Mm. All right, all right. I was afraid this is this one. I was really afraid of this bottle going in. Um, I'm gonna get a got, thumbs up. Yeah, I, if I'll you're a Gen up. Xer and you love Tang, Kapow. And yeah. that is so eerie because it, as we were speaking earlier, it's identifiable immediately as, as orange, a, but it's not an organic. Orange. It's a fake orange. It's, it's a fake orange. It's, it's tang. It's tang. It's alcoholic tang. And that may have been my stumbling block. We never it. had actual tang. We had store brand tang from Lord Dixie. Oh, no. So yeah, we, I pretty yeah, much we have tang. Pretty much grew up on tang. Yeah. Although the grape tang never really grabbed me. I never even saw the grape tang. Yeah, they had grape tang for a little while and it just wasn't that great. I didn't like it. But regular old orange tang? God damn right. <clears throat> well, it just goes to show you. That if there's something out there that you don't like, it's kind of like Tetris. If you put it in the right combination with the right ingredients, it works. Yeah. Yep. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And and belatedly, I, I I'll give it a thumbs up too, even though it's not to my palate. But uh, well, it works. That in particular, that really works. Well, the and, fruit, the fruitcake one wasn't really my cup of tea either. Yeah. But it wasn't bad. You things don't have to be what you like and still <laughs> to be good. If I were at a party or a family get together, especially a holiday, because this is so holiday. Yeah. Yeah. And someone gave me a rocks glass with that in it, with some shaved ice. Brother, I'm there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. If somebody was passing that out as cocktails at a holiday party, you would not even think twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could hand that to the wife and say, here, there you go. Get your rosy cheek. Back. I'm going to go do that right now. See you next time. <laughs>